the Soviet cosmonaut knew he was dying. Oxygen levels dropping, radio crackling with static, Georgi Dobrovolsky floated silently inside the Soyuz 11 capsule, watching his two crewmates slump motionless beside him. Three days earlier, they'd completed a perfect mission to the world's first space station, smiling, celebrating heroes of the Soviet space program. Now, 104 miles above Earth's surface, something had gone catastrophically wrong. A microscopic valve had cracked during re-entry. Pressurized air was escaping, silently, invisibly. Within minutes, the entire crew would suffocate. Dobrovolsky watched the needle on the oxygen gauge trembling. No time for heroics. No dramatic last transmission. Just the cold mathematics of physics and human fragility. When the capsule landed, rescue teams found all three cosmonauts perfectly positioned in their seats. No signs of struggle, no external damage. Just three men, faces peaceful, already gone. They would become the first and only humans to die in space. Their bodies bore no marks of trauma. Just three silent witnesses to humanity's most profound frontier, their deaths a stark reminder of space's unforgiving silence. The Soviet Union would modify spacecraft forever after, but those three men remained suspended in history's memory, anonymous, forever floating.